Hey guys, down the mall farm here, and we're kind of just looking at my uh, next project I will be doing. So, yes, I still have my bank barn to finish, but this is just going to be for my beef display and possibly dairy if I can add on to it. I'm basically going to be making a freestyle barn for uh, beef cattle. So, this is kind of a blueprint right here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have this is alley where uh, TMR is going to go through. I'm going to have some feed bunks I'm going to get from. Bantam Miniature Farms, and um, probably gonna have this split up. This is gonna just gonna be where they're finishing off beef. Um, when they're not finishing off beef, they will be out in the pastures. This is gonna have a pasture kind of, but just like a cow lot exiting out of here. Hey guys, so we're back here about a month later. As you can see, I got a lot done. Uh, I got the framing all done. Um, I didn't film me uh, uh, doing it, uh, building it step by step like I usually do. I apologize for that. Um, basically, how I built this was just when I had time after school or didn't have a lot of homework. So filming it would have been a little bit too much of a hassle. Would have taken too much time. So I apologize for that. I just used the uh, wood, cut it. Instead of using an exacto knife, I got this thing because I cut myself again with that, and it's just unsafe. This thing, you just uh, snip it once, and it just comes right off. It's a lot better than the struggle used. So as you can see, here's my framing. Uh, really happy with how this turned out. Uh, I did have to do some things over and some stuff broke off. It's not exactly even, um, but it's not too bad. So as you can see, uh, this side is going to be like the first stage, so they'll be able to have pasture and stuff. And then right here is going to be the last stage where um, I fitted this so that a cattle trailer could fit through here just for easy access. Uh, and this is just, I have the two openings here for the skid steer to easy clean. Um, so they have no access to a cow lot or a uh, pasture, so they get nice and fat. As you look on the other side. So I also made some of the end. Uh, I still have to texture this. This didn't come out too good. Uh, not terrible, though. Uh, use this from Styrene. Cut it out, which was, again, a real pain. So as you can see, it does match up pretty good. Uh, the edges are a bit rough cut in, but um, it looks good on the inside. So I'm trying to figure out how to texture it so that it looks like, you know, the outside of, like, machine sheds to have those little rivets. I'm not sure, because this stuff is pretty thick, so I'm not really sure what I'm going to be doing, um, you know, to get that indent in there. So I still do have some stuff to do, but not a lot. Um, I have this here for the bottom. It's just to go on the bottom some more styrene, enough for their heads to look good look out of. So I just need to glue that on and add a little piece there on the end and do the same thing back there. Then I'm going to be adding a little strip up here, adding a few details, probably going to adding some barn fans that I'm good. So anyways, uh, there's just uh, my the framing on my barn. I will be posting another video probably once it's done or right before it's going to be done because uh, I haven't posted in a while. Again, I apologize for that. I was kind of busy with hunting, school, and you know Thanksgiving. I had to go over to family, uh, which deer hunting was unsuccessful. I did see eight does though, but where I was hunting, uh, doe tags weren't available, so we only had a buck tag. So I wasn't able to shoot it, but at least we saw some deer. Thanks for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you down the model farm.